Hello and welcome to another video from ERPDrill.com. Uh, in this video, I just want to show you that we've updated our ACC IDCHP7 to include Personas and Fury. And uh, some of the things have been patched, kernels have been updated. So let's take a quick look. Personas and Fury are actually replacements uh, to the front end, the old GUI front end. But uh, uh, before we go into that, we will uh, the, the GUI is still active and functioning properly. So we're going to go into GUI, log in, and take a look at what's been updated, what's been changed. Uh, log in to IDADMIN. Okay, and uh, go into your status and look at the component information. Uh, the kernel for Fury to work properly needs to be 7.42 and you can see here it has been updated. Both the database side and the application side has been updated to the latest kernel. And if you look at the Fury technology, they come in tiles or uh, tile packages. And uh, we've installed a complete, uh, complete package. Okay, so uh, anything to do with UI has been updated and uh, you can see some uh, see these are the packages for hold on not that see the anything to do with O data these are all uh, packages patches uh, add-ons that's been installed uh, the UI add-ons and you can see the patch levels have been updated to the latest as of um, uh, April 2015. So these are all OData. I'll show you how how these. As soon as you put these in, the Fury menus appear, which is a functional task. It's not a basis task. Just installing the UI packages and uh, and having it show up under OData is the the responsibility of basis to to configure it for the actual Fury configuration. Is actually, a functional task. It's not a basis task. So now, if you go into uh, if you go into CF and uh, service path and go into your oops navigate your way into SAP and BC under UI go all the way down to UI UI5 okay under SAP namespace you can see you can see all of the the Fury applications that's been loaded. You saw MMPP, SD, HR, a whole bunch of HR stuff. You know, a QM task, anything that's available on SAP for Fury has been loaded. So you don't have to worry about that from finance, travel, you know, travel management. And we've configured some of the stuff for you. So, uh, so that is why Fury is a bit complicated like that because it is a uh, role based uh, uh, tiles based on tiles. Yeah, uh, you're doing so. So uh, I mean, let me load back my VMware again. Um, so uh, the basis side of Personas and Fury has been installed. Uh, uh, the Personas is a, a lot more easier to configure and design, if you will. So one, uh, the Personas is running on uh, Chrome, and you can see here the SAP screen Personas is loaded. Just log in to client 800. You can add your flavors. You can download flavors from SAP, or you know, get it from somebody else. Um, this is weird. Uh, it's not supposed to ask for. It's fully installed. This thing. Let's log into. I mean, I'll take this, put it into Internet Explorer. Let's see what happens. Okay, client 800 and uh, BASIS and password is SAP. Okay, and uh, you can see this is the personas. Okay, so the Fury has been loaded. Now you can uh, create a copy. Okay, I'm going to say COPY. And now you can go and change, modify, delete, whatever you want. Okay, so delete, add. So that's what personas is customizing your basic view okay so that's that's personas so that's been fully installed you can go ahead and create uh, leave this page okay so it doesn't work in Chrome for some reason but it works in Internet Explorer so go back into Internet Explorer and I'll show you the fury that's that we've configured as well go into your uh, thing and you can see fury home okay fury we've created a test user test ORI and uh, 
all the username and password will be given to you when you purchase and you can see that I've created some of the tiles for you but this is a functional task it's not a basis task so if you go to leave request you can see that the leave request has been you know configured so this is what Fury is all about now you can uh, you can see from here the catalog of all the all the items that's available again you have to configure it these all these tiles are available okay as the as the um, and even more I mean this this the whole thing can be uh, the can be uh, updated again when you go and I mean you don't see any HR or HCM that can be updated by just adding the OData links so these are the ones that's already configured timesheet has been configured okay so so uh, you can make a quick entry so the so those uh, so Fury from a, a basis perspective has now fully been integrated and the backend is ready there is no need to update patches or install the component nothing like that just functional task you can go to help.sap.com and see how to configure the Fury app for say um, mm if open this one up uh, go to the main catalog and you can say Google just how to how to do a Fury mm approved purchases app See now, this is not available. It's now see it's not unable to start app because it's not configured. So that's Fury and uh, that's Personas. Very simple. All the backend, everything is working fine. Okay, so uh, it's also priced very, very competitive. Only two ninety nine for this. Now, if you don't want Personas and Fury, you can buy the IDS HP Seven for just one ninety nine dollars at erpdrill.com. Go to erpdrill.com and you can purchase it. So if you have any questions, email us or uh, call us. Uh, the entire package is downloadable. When you download, you get a bunch of links. And uh, so hopefully you guys learned something. And, uh, and uh, again, if you have any questions, just email us. Thank you.